know Robin says that we have been given the gift of righteousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I love this, the abundance of grace. Oh, wow. A lot of times people think about grace as being uh, just like that overlooking of sin, but that's not what it is. Actually, grace, when you talk about grace, that unmerited favor in the strongest concordance, it actually says his divine uh, influence mm -hmm. on our heart and how mm -hmm. it reflects out in life, yeah. which is it's the empowering to live yeah. in that righteous way. The Bible says yeah. in Matthew to seek first the kingdom of God and what? His, His righteousness. righteousness. Come on, yes. Jerry. Oh, and then if you look over in Psalms, I mean, there's so much about talking about the, that he leads us in the path oh, of righteousness. 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 Yes. When you get rid of unrighteousness, you get rid of a guilty conscience. Yes. Yes. You get rid of condemnation. There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for you to know that none of us have arrived. You know, all of us, our destiny, Romans 8, 29 says that we are destined to be made, to be transformed into the image yeah. of the yes. Son of God. Yeah. And you know, every time I compare myself to Jesus, I need to change. Yes. So this is a lifetime process. And our our part is just to remember we receive righteousness by faith. Yes. And then the grace of God in, empowers us to walk it out. But it's important for you to know today when you confess your sins, that scripture, that passage was written to the church. Yes, And that's right. it says, when you confess your sins, He is faithful and yes. just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes. So our part is to stay teachable, yes. know that we're being transformed daily into the image of the Son of God, and to be quick to repent. Exactly. Yes. Amen. So just don't let our hearts get hard and our yes. gets... To the point yes. where we, um, you know, refuse to humble ourselves and take right. any responsibility right. for our bad choices. The Bible says you choose this day. Yes. You choose every day the blessing or the curses. He let me know if I would trust Him that, that I could have the desires of my heart. That's what the Bible says. Yes. I'm sitting here beside the Colorado River. Yeah. And those 2,000 foot mesas over there. I dreamed of finding places like this as a kid. I would see a picture and I would think, whoa, man, I'm, that's so beautiful. And I am sitting here enjoying the desire of my heart today because God is good and He's cleansed me from all unrighteousness. He's blessed me, even though I don't deserve it, with true love and the best friends I've ever had. And that's what He wants to do for you today. God bless you. We love you. Have a magnificent day.